Hi, I'm James. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about restriction in the classroom and how it affects our motivation. And I'm generally just going to rip on education. So, I'd like to like just click. Okay, so lectures or the lecture style uh, environments or classroom which we're usually taught in is incredibly restrictive <coughs> in several ways. Mentally, physically and fundamentally. Mentally, Bly uh, couldn't find one study which showed that lectures were more uh, created more in-depth thoughts. You couldn't find any other any study to show that lectures were thought-provoking than any other method of education, like experiential learning or anything like that. They're the least mentally stimulating form of um, education. It's obviously physically restrictive, so you have to sit there like you're doing now and do nothing all day for about six hours. And that's obviously going to restrict people in their development because exercise has been shown to increase hippocampus development, which is about uh, memory and learning. And these kids aren't getting enough blood flow, blood flow to the brain. And it's generally making them sit down and uh, turn them to kind of dumb them down. Fundamentally, obviously, it isn't the best because in about a week, you're only going to remember about 10% of this information right now. So it doesn't really bother me about this speech. Um, yeah, it, it's generally not as good as any other. You, you'll, you've probably all seen the pyramid where it's got uh, lectures on the top and right around the bottom is teaching is the best form of, um, or one of the best forms of learning. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, obviously there's no stimulation in the classroom. Uh, you obviously just have to sit there and listen to the teacher and from my personal experience I used to stare out the window and was daydreaming all the time. Uh, children with ADHD have been shown to have a high appetite for stimulation so they need constant stimulation in order to focus and one study was done where they were normalized, essentially, they would actually sit down and calm down and pay attention to a video, something that was more stimulating for them. And clearly in a, in a classroom they can't concentrate, they can't keep still. And instead the education system blames them and gives them drugs, which is the wrong way to go about it. They should change the environment and make them more uh, stimulated and give them more things to do, generally. That's the next one. Um, and one way you could do this, which is a popular one in this year, is uh, video games. Uh, it gives children with ADHD the stimulation that they need. They can actually focus. Um, and it's best to use experiential video games. So video games that are hands-on and kind of like simulate an environment so they can learn using experience. Uh, gamification is not the best one. Uh, a good example is Quest Atlantis, which is a simulator. So you would take on the role of, say, a carpenter or a fisherman and you would learn everything to do with their role um, and these sorts of games have been shown to increase intrinsic motivation which is another one, one of the main things which I learnt over the course of this module which is classrooms generally destroy your intrinsic motivation so next slide please um, students with high intrinsic motivation have improved well-being uh, academic performance and more engagements. So intrinsic motivation is general a desire to want to learn. You find it interesting, you have a sense of autonomy, um, mastery. And extrinsic motivation which is an external stimulus such as a grade or some form of reward has been shown to destroy your intrinsic motivation. Once you give a student some form of reward for their behavior they um, lose interest in their own you know, desire to learn and only chase the rewards. So students these days only care about their grades, which is something we need to change. Um, we need to inspire them to actually want to learn because they want to be interested in it. And that, that can be done with video games and also with um, other forms of reinforcements. Which brings me on to one of my other blogs. Um, grades affect our intrinsic motivation. They actually damage it. They no longer want us or we no longer want to learn because we find it interesting or want to gain a sense of mastery but we just want to get a good grade and we want to know the best way to get a good grade uh, and even then grades aren't around that, that much They're at A levels you do two years worth of study and then there's just one big grade at the end you get UAS level but still you have to wait a year to get your positive reinforcement and for some students that isn't good enough they get bored and lose interest and I think one study found that in America 32% of people drop out because they just have, don't have any motivation to keep going uh, one way to increase intrinsic motivation and good motivation is um, positive feedback 
instead of grades. So you actually tell them how they're doing, um, possible ways to improve, teach them actual learning methods, how to learn, rather than just giving them a grade with zero feedback. So to conclude, if it comes up, yep. Students are incredibly restricted in the classroom. They are forced to sit down and just shut up, really. They don't have any inputs. They don't have any sense of autonomy or control over what they're doing, which is going to you know, seriously destroy their uh, intrinsic motivation. They're given grades straight away, which, again, it damages their motivation. Uh, they're restricted physically, mentally. It's just generally not very good. And there are many different ways to change this, such as video games, uh, hands-on sort of learning, positive feedback, and I could talk all day about different methods to, to uh, improve it, but that's what I'm going to end it on, so thanks for listening. <laughs> Any questions? Yes? I'm shocked to hear that the grades are destroying your, your motivation oh, to do anything in this Very class. shocking. So, should I stop grading? No, no, um, <laughs> definitely not, because we love it. I think because, <laughs> like I said, grades are few and far apart, but in this, module we get them every week it's constant reinforcements so it's, it's destroying all your intrinsic motivation mm. you don't really want to do this anymore no, no I still do it's it's combined with lots of other intrinsic motivators like you're constantly giving feedback by, from your peers we have to do this now and stand up and actually learn and get an interest in it and you do gain a kind of general interest in what you're talking about so do you feel this module is not really about the grade, it's more about empowerment? The feel of how the grade is just... Yeah, definitely, yeah. Do you mean because obviously this class is about motivated learning? Mm -hmm. And obviously being at this level of higher education, you feel as I get there, sort of module don't supply that sort of... So yeah. you are basically working towards the grade, but this one doesn't feel as if you are. It's more, like you say, autonomy. Yeah. You have more power over what you want to do. And I felt like I've generally d discovered all this information myself rather than being forced into a lecture and said, memorize all this uh, for your exam. And I've actually gone away and learned all this myself. And it's actually quite you know, pleasing, if you get me, and you feel pretty good about yourself. So it does help. That has a personal effect. Do you actually think you'll hold the information longer? Yeah. This will stay with me now. Plus, it's online, and I can always just go back and have a read whenever I like. Well, I can keep going if I feel like it, you know. You're right. I know you did a Lexus course, uh, similar to me. Yeah. Uh, I was how you found that compared to A-levels. I, I failed A-levels completely when I was 17, 18. I had no motivation or interest or desire to go to university, so I just dropped out, uh, got a job, and worked for four years. And then I decided I've had enough of this. I want to come back to university. And I did an access course, and that was so much better. There was three exams, and they were only small ones. The rest was all coursework. and they taught you how to learn, they taught you how to study, how to develop um, learning skills, where A-levels never did that for me at all. They just, um, like I said, just used this method of teaching and it was rubbish. And then you got to come here where you would use all that, right? First year, no. Actually, statistics we did at two blogs and I enjoyed it, so yes. You enjoyed statistics? Yeah, I enjoyed the blogs. <laughs> I didn't enjoy the seminars though, they were terrifying. Yeah, any more questions?